hardwater. This video describes some of the accessories that can go along with the pressure washer that will help make your job more efficient, safer, and more predictable when you're doing the wet blasting technique. Now there's two very important accessories to these pressure washers that I recommend. The first one is an inline pressure gauge. Now in my opinion, if you don't use an inline pressure gauge, you really don't know what the output pressure is going to be at your blast head tip. Because remember, it's all about trying to control the pressure here uh, so that we know what pressure we're working at on a specific surface. Now as these surfaces get more delicate and complex, your ability to control this output pressure becomes more and more important. So the best way to do that is to add an inline pressure gauge. Now the way that these inline pressure gauges work is that it's basically a pressure gauge that goes from 0 to 5,000 and it's going to register the effective or output pressure at the pump. Now the machine behind me is a pressure washer, it's a, a Simpson 4200. Now the manufacturer states that the PSI is 4200 at 4 gallons per minute. However, the effective pressure, what you're really getting out of this pump, isn't necessarily that amount because of the type of nozzle tip that's put on the end of these things. So using it, uh, an inline pressure gauge will help you to determine what that pressure is there, which translates to what the pressure is going to be at your blast head. Now the way that these uh, inline pressure gauges work is basically you have the gauge itself, which is a bottom mount uh, quarter inch threaded gauge. It's liquid filled so that as the uh, motor's oscillating and bouncing around, the liquid in the gauge is going to stabilize the needle so that the needle is more accurate and easy to read. So here's your gauge, and the gauge is going to thread onto a quick connect fitting like so. And this quick connect fitting is going to connect your high pressure hose to your pressure washer. And what you want to do now is take your, uh, your 3 inch plug on here and put it into your pressure washer uh, connect, which is right below your, uh, your pressure regulator. So now you have a really good gauge that's going to enable you to see what uh, pressure you're working at. Now this hose will obviously go onto your gun and so the, the pressure here is going to translate to the pressure here. And now if you're working on glass tile for example which is, uh, which is softer and more difficult because of the nature of the material, glass, and also the coatings they put on it, now by using your pressure regulator you can actually adjust your effective re uh, pressure down to an area that works for you. You can take notes and you can keep that information for future jobs. So having an inline pressure gauge is really the professional way to go uh, when you're doing this kind of work so that you don't create any damage and you can transfer the results from one job to the next. Uh, the second very important accessory for the pressure washers is a splitter. We call this our, it's a diverter, we call this our manifold splitter because what this uh, device is going to allow us to do is going to allow us to divert or split the water pressure to two uh, separate hoses and those hoses can, can connect to two different guns. So for example, it's very uh, oftentimes when you're working out in the field, a lot of times you're switching back and forth between different guns. Sometimes you're going to need the 15 degree wide head for some features and other times you're going to need the zero degree wide uh, gun. So because of that, um, to make it more effective and easier to switch back and forth, you can use the manifold splitter which is going to connect up these two guns. Another way to do it too is you can have one gun in operation like a blast head gun and you can also divert the water to a normal uh, a gun like this where you would have a normal spray tip. Now this is the manufacturer's uh, gun that comes with the pressure washer and here you can pull off one of these tips and just use the quick connect fitting and now you could use this as a spray down gun and this is your blast gun and you can alternate them back and forth without having to uh, really shut down the machine. So let me show you how the splitter works. So here's the splitter right here. 
what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the splitter after the pressure gauge. So in this configuration, I have my inline pressure gauge, and now I have my manifold splitter, and I'm going to hook up my two hoses like this. There you go. Got my two hoses. And now I connect up these two hoses to whichever gun assemblies I really want. So let's, so for example, I'm going to put it on the 15 degree and then I'll put it on the zero. Alrighty. There you go. Now I have two guns that I can alternate uh, depending upon what's needed for the job. One thing to keep in mind, however, is when you're using the manifold splitter, you can't necessarily run both guns simultaneously um, because it's going to reduce the pressure by half. So if you get 4,000 psi out, if you divert it, you're only going to get 2,000 psi per line. And that's usually not enough for blasting. So overall, uh, the, the, uh, the accessories for the pressure washer are well worth it in terms of controlling the head pressure and make, speeding up your jobs and making them more efficient so you can switch back and forth between the different guns.